Calling on the forces of the universe, she transforms into the soldier of love and justice. This recognizable pigtailed girl known as Sailor Moon was no doubt an idol to many girls in the 90s. On to the next lovable show, Care Bears, and the not-so-lovable character, Shrieky, who always sabotaged all the fun in Care Bear land. <laughs> Whether you love them or hate them, there's someone out there bringing the voice of these personalities to your television screen. Uncle Noah, I basically took my ball and did he, did he, did he. And for these characters, <laughs> it's Canadian voice actress Tracy Moore. I was Sailor Moon and I voice directed Sailor Moon. Uh, George Shrinks, uh, Ned's Newt, um, Care Bears, um, several Care Bears, Hug, Shrieky, Cheer Bear, Share Bear. I've done Care Bears for 25 years. Um, My Little Pony, I'm singing the voice of Strawberry Shortcake and I direct that. Forever friends stay strong. It's a specific skill, it's sort of like tap dancing, you know. Um, it's a real specific skill. Over two decades in the biz, Tracy knows how specific it is and what a challenge it is to teach the craft to a room full of eager post-secondary students. Okay, so you really, really commit to it. Like, you know, you know this kind of things really have to happen. <gasps> you know, that kind of stuff really has to happen so that I can hear it. Today's the third day and it's so different to anything we've done before and it's crazy learning a lot. That's where the Cloud City is. My dad's gonna open a disco there! Even though many of these students have a background in performing arts, they're discovering just how precise this industry is. And for that reason, Tracy says it's a small group of people who make steady work out of it. Only about 100 people voice all the animated characters in Canadian television. So I'd say that not all actors are voice actors, but all good voice actors are actors. It's all about committing and going, committing and going, committing and going, committing. Think later. Tracy was first sought out for her voice after playing Anne in Anne of Green Gables on stage. Just like the youthful voice of Anne, Tracy began her voice career cast as young girls, which she said is not unusual. It's super cool! And so you start out with them understanding their voice and their voice type, and then we go from that to characterization, then moving a character through the mic in an audio world. Okay, so I lost the cat. I'm not really a superhero. As you gain experience, Tracy says you can begin manipulating your voice to fit different characters in this booming industry. There's far more opportunity because of all the apps you're seeing now, all the gaming, the gaming world is gigantic that all uses voice actors. And of course, the more networks and the more countries that open up to television and television networks. So it's, it's a huge industry, huge, 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 bigger than any other industry, more than film. And Tracy sure is taking advantage of this huge industry by performing around North America. But she has a house here in Victoria. And if you want to catch her unique voice, she'll be performing at the Belfry Theatre in the upcoming production, Helen's Necklace. In Victoria, I'm Jen Moranitz.